خیلی عالی هستش پس شروع میکنیم اول با, با شما جوبین جان یه ذره راجع به تاریخ چت برای دوستان عزیز که دارن تماشا میکنن توضیح بده اوکی okay. um, اول سلام به همگی هموطنا تماشیا uh, thank you for watching thank you for taking out your time of your day and uh, I just want to say چون که you took out your time of your day I have to let you know about تون روح باشم خیلی گرست نمه I'm so hungry right now سال هشتونی میشم آره اصلا غذا نخوردم به خاطر رفتم رستوران رفتم فروشگاه ایرونی رفتم olive oil خریدم میخواستم پیاز سرخ کنم so I اون olive oil استفاده کردم رفتم ایرون حالا یه برندی بود که اسمش علی دورو بود and I thought it was Italian at first but it's Persian So I went home and I, I put the oil and I put sorch cardam uh, my pias and did I'm ke how can I put this? Really bad food. Hello, my dear. Really bad. Today I'm a gorosta. Today I'm sure that you're going to have a lot of fun. Because I'm not gorosta. 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 Actually, I'm thinking Chelo Kababie Shalizar, which is in Northern California, and I'm just craving it right now. I don't know why, <laughs> because I guess I couldn't cook myself. I'm a good cook, but I think the oil that I used wasn't that right. So I just want to put that out there, and then now we can talk <laughs> so about we whatever. So we have lapses in judgment. We yes. can blame yeah. it on the olive oil. On the <laughs> olive oil, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> stay with Sadaf. I think the best thing is just stay with what you know. Yeah. Stay with Sadaf. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For energy, fun. I'm just saying. I think we got our answers. Tell us about oh. you. Well, now we know. Oh, we, we got, fun, we got more than energy. enough. Wow. We Dude, know everything. Is there any awesome. time left you for me? I mean? yeah. <laughs> so why don't you tell us a little bit about your background and how you got into the whole film industry and you know what motivates you to, to you know to keep doing what you do? It's not the easiest thing in the world. Well, with me, it was kind of like an accident. Basically, you know, um, I was a producer producing music artists, mm -hmm. and. Um, for me, it was a hard, I, I found it kind of hard to find people to shoot videos for my artists. So one day, I don't know how it happened. You know, I, a camera landed in my hands, you know, it, it fell out of the sky. And, um, you know, we just, we just jumped in the car one day, went to a location, and I shot my first video of my artist. And, and ever since then, I, I've just been hooked on it. And that's pretty much, the beginning of my Got film it. career and and from there you know I always had this love for, for movies you know I can go to the movies I watch two three movies in one day like you know I sit I sit there watch two three movies you know like it ain't nothing you yeah. know and you know right right then I realized that I that I'm addicted to movies so that's my life you know making films nice. pretty much so nice. and that's pretty much how I got into it and you know, it's a love, it's a passion, and you know, I live, eat it. You know. How did you guys end up uh, working together? Shmuel, you told me that you guys were working together. Well, it's an interesting story. Um, I bet it is. Yes, it is <laughs> oh, an yeah, interesting yeah. story. You can do some to Verizon, Carmi Corne, and um, I guess you met him through in Verizon store, or did you? How did you? Guys um, I did. I've, I actually, I was with a girlfriend, an ex-girlfriend, but I was, I was with a girlfriend, I and um, I now. hope, hey, I hope she is. She might, <laughs> she might come back. She yeah, might she might do. Yeah, for long. exactly. I hope not. And um, I was with, I was with my, my. She might come back with a knife. A, <laughs> a, a gun, knife. you know. Yeah, you right. Not on this show. Not More on this knife. <laughs> but you know, girls are smart. They, they. They don't do anything on camera. They do it off camera. <laughs> and it's usually psychological warfare. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So you know how you know how that goes. But um, yeah, me and me and my girl, we went into this Verizon store, and this inspiring actor slash producer was, um, you know, he was he was in there doing his thing, you mm -hmm. know, selling whatever he do, mm -hmm. and um, he came to us, and you know, the guy, he you can kind of tell he was into the entertainment, the way he carried himself. He had he had this look, and you know, basically we introduced ourselves to to each other, and you know, he told me what he do, and I was like, oh man, you know, I make films, I make short films, and he was like, man, I'm an actor, and and you know, to make a long story short, I went to his website, and bam, he he has a numer numerous credits, but you know, you know what they say, all actors are, are, are waiters, 
and Dang. he he fits that mold. You know, he's definitely yeah. he's not a waiter, but he works at Verizon. He works at Verizon. So, so, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up the story from him. So, <laughs> so how do we get to him? So my name is Kelase Todd. Actually, you guys did a promotion for Val Loren. Yeah. I actually went to Playhouse West with Val oh, Loren. Wow. I was in the same class. Actually, he he was done with his class. He would come and visit us. Mm -hmm. So, um, but Michael, Sandy, uh, do show them through school. And we did a lot of um, rehearsals together and we clicked, you yeah. know, we definitely clicked. So, he's a producer, he's actually the producer of his film. Yes. And he's a go-getter and we just clicked. And then, but in Dushot, so he had a story and then we just had a poker night one night. Nishastin Boam Nige Harf Zadim. And we played poker, and we talked about a script, and one thing led to another, and now it's now it's being developed, it's being edited, and now we're working Sweet. together. He's a buddy. He gets on my nerves sometimes. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I actually <laughs> don't like him. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
until the end of time. The message. سنه قوی شما هیچ وقت کرکتر یا رولی رو مثل این تالا بازی کرده بودی یا این یک میشه گفت کار تازه بود برات من آم, کارم تو تات تو تات هوملس بازی کردم ولی در نقش تو فیلم هیچ وقت اولین بارم بود مثل که همیشه گشنه ای همیشه گشنه به دام میگم هم هم گشنه همه 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 غذای خونگی ندارم so he played he played a real good yeah. homeless guy yeah. I kid you not um, what was funny during this film ما داشتیم شوت میکردیم و آدمایی که واقعا هوملس بودن می اومدن پیش ما اصلا یه داستانایی به ما میگفتن we were shooting on Lancashire actually and یه داستانایی میشست we were listening to it's just it was so inspiring while we were اصلا تنم اون موقع تنم یه جوری میشد اصلا you could really feel واقعا همون گفتی لاف آدم بگیره و لاف داشته باشه بیکاز اینا پول نداشتن نه نمیدونستن روزشون چی جوریه ولی they had they had the will and they had um, hope mm-hmm. it's the hope that they had that carried them to the next day میدونی ما ایرونیا خیلی we like the bigger things in life you know and it's crazy for me که ببینم که یک کسی با این همه درد سر میتونه هنوز خوب داشته باشه یعنی واقعا gives me so much so much strength که من تو این بیزنس هستم it's really tough mm-hmm. I need all the hope I can get mm-hmm. you know hope, hard work and will mm-hmm. and I can go towards it and it was amazing shooting this um, we, we came across a lot of cool people we met a lot of awesome people um, just getting everyone together and working and Mr. Durrell is a great director we had our producer we yeah. had our we had our camera guy a cinematographer we had our sound guy everyone that was good at what they were doing was in this project mm-hmm. and we brought a lot of good positive energy into this and as you can see it's a really touching story I wanted Durrell to kill me actually at the end of the film wow. yeah. but he wasn't he wasn't down to do that so he made it more of a hope kind of thing because yeah, at the yeah, end yeah, yeah, yeah. if you see you get more hope and, um, and yeah yeah because see when when the movie is going off basically we ended the film with him tearing off his, his clothes pretty much like the like the it's kind of like hard to describe like you know like when you're in a situation and you you you're, you're trying to change your life and you, when you decide to change your life mm. you try to you decide to strip away all the bad things so you can start over fresh yeah. and pretty much that's what we uh that's what we shot we shoot him uh he's leaving the store and and the music comes on then then he basically decides hey I'm finna change so he's going down the sidewalk Yeah, taking changes. off all the crappy clothes and bam he's starting over fresh he's fin- he's going to be a different person from this point on wow. you put, and we we you know it was i was scared that it might co- not come off like that but you know we was blessed and and it worked out you know how much dialogue is there in the film versus you know the true acting which is you know showing we, we, being we talked about that a lot that's a great point that's yeah, a great point we talked about and we and we and we made sure that we had a lot of acting and Minimal little dialogue, dialogue. yeah because yeah, that's the way down. this is and down. i heard one of the things that characterizes being homeless is constantly having to move having uh, yeah. to move around all the time yeah. walk around keep moving or because yes. you don't have a permanent place yes to be. yes yes and, and we and we did we, we we basically matter of fact i studied the homeless side. You know, I went out and talked to homeless people. I, I sat with them, held 30 minute hour conversation with these yeah. people. And you know, before I even wrote one word. And um, afterwards, I was real confident with writing the story. Mm-hmm. You know, like I said, we talked about not being so dialogue heavy. Yeah. And we, we cut it down. Show it, don't and, tell and it. And we, we did a lot of showing. Exactly. We did a lot of showing and we, we, we did a lot of experimenting. Yeah. And, so it's um, called the message. You yeah. make your own message. No, There's so exactly. many messages. Yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. it's like so many message. different messages like that you can interpret and you can come up with your own. 
through watching the film. It's amazing. Like, Darrell is, is just opportunity, getting the chance to. But, uh, like, I, I did a little private screening for myself and my friend, and I just wanted to take, and everyone had a different message, yeah. which was great. And it's because there was, there was no minimal talk. dialogue yeah. and there was more visuals oh, and more open to interpretation exactly the best. exactly That's the best so exactly. i know i know you've done a lot of other work too and i want to show our viewers some of your reel as well wow. so do you <laughs> want to intro that a little, i am so or? down to intro that i've been blessed to work with some cool people and um this reel you're going to see is a little pinch of and taste of what i've been doing out here in la um i moved here about 2005 so i've been here five years wow. Um, I got to work with some cool people, Errol Morris, um, I got to do the Muppets, I got to do a lot of cool little stuff, I got to go to Germany, do the um, Berlin Film Festival, wow. so I've been blessed, you know, but I'm hungry for more, I don't want to be more, I 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 want to be more, yo. Let's make some more movies. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Right, so Let's do it right now. You guys, you guys write your next script. We're going to go watch your reel, and we'll be back with you guys. Let's do it. Yeah, Let's do it. Follow my shit. I have a paper. Okay, cool. <laughs> Simple. You need me. I need you. And we both need this money. His knees were bruised, his thighs were bruised by his genitals. He had restraint marks on his wrist. This is how you treat me? Like a bum? Well, you do remind me of one. This magazine's my last purchase here. Thank you for that. That magazine's free. Hey, bum, you forgot something. You drink it. You two have more in common than me. We both are awful. Some of them even ask me for money. Why do they want money? I don't have any money. Mm. You do like women, don't you? <laughs> or is it men? We do both. Back to school so I can get an education. Yeah. Six million dollar dreams, that's what I'm chasing. Woo. Imagine a yacht, a Rolex, and a Mercedes. Yeah. I keep that red Trojan for all you horny ladies. Yeah. Give me a few years and you see J U B to yeah. puffin' on the seat with pockets full of green. Woo. Sipping on champagne in my roll in the Caribbean. Yeah. So filthy rich, I can own my own aquarium. What? In due time, but it will take a while. Yeah. I savor these moments like a blood like Tupac. Yeah. And what? In a Just China smile. China. I don't care if I got it, man. I'm willing to take that risk. What? I'm in love with her, bro. You're... Dude, I'm willing to share that with the rest of my life with her, bro. Share it with her? Hell yeah. The rest of your life? Hell yeah. Um, well, I don't... بسیار عالی. خب در این چند دقیقه آخر نیز last few minutes میخواستیم که ازتون بپرسیم که برنامه های آینده تون چیه میدونم داشتین شوخی میکردین که you guys are going to make another movie but talk to us about your future plans and kind of where you want to go individually and where you want to go as a, as a team me first or you first well I'll take it first go ahead go um, for the team man obviously I would love to do more projects with Darrell and uh, with our team and we are totally willing for everyone else to come out and help out, whoever's good at whatever they do, bring it on. We are so open to having a great team. That's how Swingers got in. They just got everyone good, whatever they were good at. Alex Dizier is one of my good friends. That's awesome. That's Introduce awesome. Introduce me. We <laughs> talk afterwards. Man, Alon ba Tina Pakavan kar mikunam. She's actually in Iran. Um, she's done with serials in Iran. She's a producer in Iran. Ba, um, کیمیایی کار میکنن یه فیلم درست کردن سال پیش به نام هالیوود which you saw a little where I was rapping and stuff so it's about me میرم ایران میگن 
اینجا چیکار میخوای بکنی اکین برو آمریکایی تو تو باید بری آمریکا چون که من اینجا به دنیا اومدم در لایک ای تو باید بری آمریکا سو so میام آمریکا and i'm like in the mix of trying to get i go on the streets and stuff like that so that's one project i'm also doing okay. um uh what else projects i have um i just did a full tilt poker commercial with nice. phil ivy what i want to do is just be blessed to work in this industry to pay my bills <laughs> to buy a house ایرونی بودن من دوستان فامیل داشته باشم I want to have a family and I want to survive through acting yeah. through what I love to do and I just pray that if I work hard and if I don't give up Vaughan anything is possible you know with those those terms if you don't give up I believe in it but it, I don't know how long it's going to take that's that's the issue ایرونی بودن ما هم فامیل داریم با جواب بدیم به اون و این اون آقا چیکار میکنی؟ چه که بابت 5 سال شده دیگه بشه. They don't understand that what it takes. It's not like oh you're discovered. Brad Pitt was doing a chicken suit for a Pollo Loco. No one knows about that. Right. He's paid his dues yeah. to yeah. where he is gone, you know? So I just want to pay my dues and get where I want to be and hopefully with all your support, follow me on Twitter. can do that together. <laughs> awesome. All right, he left you about 45 seconds. Well, that's all I need. With, with, with me, it's just basically, you know, shooting shorts and, you know, just, just giving them to the people, you know, making, you know, I fight for the underdogs. Mm. You know, that's them, those are the kind of stories I like. And that's basically my dream and vision, to support the underdogs and, you know, just give them a voice, you know, and just continue to make films and, you know, hopefully, People like them, you know. It's simple. That's it. Underdog, you made the hair on the back of my neck stand because you <laughs> and I are cut from the same cloth, brother. Yeah. Thank yeah. you guys both for being on the show. One more last thank thing. You. I want to thank you guys for having us on your show. I thank appreciate you. Andy Shit TV. Thank you so much. Thank you. Vida Rafari, thank you so much. Yes. You're awesome. You're awesome. You're awesome. It couldn't happen without you. Is that legal on TV? Yeah. Yes, it is. Thank you. She thank is you. Dear and I was thinking friend. maybe we can dance towards the end. Can we put a song on? I'm and not dancing. Can we do I'm that? Not, I don't know. Can we dance. get up and dance? I'm not dancing. There's a possibility. When you guys come back, we'll have a little we'll dance. dance. I'm, I'm not dancing. I'm not dancing. I can tell by the next. Oh, John. I'm not dancing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, lovely lady. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are beautiful people. Thank you. Oh, man. Likewise. Oh, man. And as you see, they are in the house. یه تشکر میکنیم که با ما بودین و میبرم که برنامه رو دوست داشتید اگه که پیشنهاتی دارید یا نظری دارین از طریق فیسبوک میتونید ما رو پیدا بکنین روی صفحه From East to West و تا هفته آینده ما